Governor Whitmer's stop here today as part of her Road to Opportunity Tour. She's traveling the state, pushing her core issues of fixing roads and increasing funding for education. But some of her proposals are getting some pushback. I am proud to be the 49th governor of the great state of Michigan. I feel very fortunate. At a roundtable discussion, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer made her case for her 2020 budget. I need the public to get engaged, stay engaged, and you know, encourage the legislature to pass this budget. Meeting with community representatives, she talked about what is shaping up to be one of her most controversial proposals. The roads keep getting worse, and we're paying more to fix our cars. The budget includes a 45 cent raise on the gas tax that will be implemented in three phases. The Speaker of Michigan's House says that's a non-starter for Republicans. I'm a no on 45 cents. Republican Representative Aaron Miller says he's gotten mostly negative feedback on the tax proposal and wouldn't vote for it. Governor Whitmer says if anyone has any better ideas, she wants to hear them. I want to see an alternative. Put a plan on the table that raises the $2.5 billion that we need to fund our infrastructure so we can educate our kids at the same time. If someone's got a better idea, I'm interested in learning it and getting it passed. The governor is also hitting on education, with Michigan schools towards the bottom on national reading scores and last in school funding growth. Whitmer says the time to start is now. We stopped stealing money out of the school aid fund to fill potholes, that we put it where it's supposed to go to the education of our kids. The governor plans to put the money back into the schools and focus on early childhood education. As a former teacher, that's something Miller says he can get on board with. She has proposed a very sizable increase. I think that's a great thing. I can say that, that I agree with her on getting money into schools. The governor also wants to close the skills gap by increasing the number of adults with a college degree. The Michigan legislature will continue to debate and hammer out budget details over the next few months. In Sturgis tonight, I'm Max Lewis, WSBT 22 News.